What's up friends and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am sharing my first impressions of the mirror. This is a cutting edge new fitness device that seamlessly blends into your home decor because it's, well, a mirror. So I'll be covering how it works, what makes this unique, the hefty price tag and my thoughts around that. Plus I'll be sharing a few tips for how to enhance your at-home workout if you're on a budget. But first, if you're new here, welcome. My mission is to help you achieve success without sacrificing your health or happiness. I do product reviews weekly, so if you're into this, click that subscribe button and join the Type A tribe. So it's really no surprise that the at-home fitness market is booming right now. I mean, Peloton sales are through the roof, Fight Camp is pretty much taking over the kickboxing space, and every fitness instructor under the sun is live streaming classes from their own homes. So then why the mirror? Now, before we dive into the mechanics, let's address the elephant in the room, the price tag. So the mirror is going to set you back a whopping $1,500 just for the unit itself, plus an additional $40 a month for its membership. So if you break that down, quick math, about $165 a month for a year. So on the bright side, well, it's cheaper than an Equinox membership, and it's about $1,000 less than say the Peloton or the at-home SoulCycle bike. But it's still $1,500 for a piece of glass. Now my at-home workout game is not strong enough to justify this kind of purchase, but a friend of ours did just make the plunge, and so my fiance and I decided to test it out ourselves to see if this device is really worth all the hype. And what I can honestly say right off the bat is that this is an item of luxury, not necessarily functionality. I'll explain more about that in a sec, but let's take a look at how it works. So the mirror itself is a two foot long LCD panel that connects to your phone to stream workout videos and music. The one thing that is nice about the mirror is it doesn't look like a normal piece of fitness equipment, like say the tempo or the tonal machine. It is literally a full functioning mirror the majority of the time until you turn it on to work out. And once you do, you can actually still see yourself in the mirror along with what appears to be a holographic type of image of the instructor leading you through class. Now it also comes with a heart rate monitor chest strap, which you can hook up to the mirror and see your calories burned in real time. I'll be honest with you guys, I use this, did not find it that effective, especially when compared to my Apple Watch. I found that the total calories burned were quite off by about 75. So not entirely sure this was the best metric, but it was a cool feature that they included nonetheless. So now that we've touched on the specs, let's talk about how the actual workout was. So we took the 30 minutes advanced Pilates class, which was actually a pretty good workout. Now it wasn't as advanced as I thought it might be, but the class did move the entire time and I did get a pretty good core workout in. And I will say there were definitely a couple of features that I really liked about the mirror. To start, there's a countdown timer on the upper left-hand corner of the mirror so you can know exactly how long you're doing a specific exercise for. And then on the right-hand side, you get a preview of the next exercise to come, which could probably be both good and bad, but at least you can mentally prepare for what you're about to endure. And then finally to wrap things up, I'd say the sound quality from the mirror was fantastic. I mean, acoustics are just so important when it comes to a fitness class. Sometimes it's really hard to be able to hear the instructor when you're just streaming from your phone or even if you're in a packed class and the instructor is really far away. So I'd say consistent audio quality throughout the session was definitely a huge plus. And you can actually connect your Spotify account to the mirror so you can stream your own music if you prefer. Now, in terms of the cons, I'd say one of the biggest drawbacks is that only one person can fully take advantage of the mirror at one time. So I did this Pilates class with my fiance and not only could he not see himself in the mirror, but he ended up following me more so than the instructor, which was Definitely not a good idea. So even though they advertise this as being great for the whole family and you can have up to five or six users, this really is meant for just one user at a time. And even though you can see yourself in the mirror while you're doing the exercise, I'd say the instructor is still pretty small 
And this thing is not gonna coach you on proper form. Another competitive device on the market, the Tempo actually uses motion sensor technology to give you real-time feedback on alignment and form through their little notifications that pop up when you're doing exercise. To me, this is a really cool cutting edge feature, but unfortunately the Tempo is really more designed for just strength training, whereas the Mirror is designed to have a lot more workouts from boot camp to bar. Now, I will say if you do attend one of the Mirror's live classes where the instructor can actually see you, you might get a little bit of form feedback but it's not guaranteed. For that to happen, you'd have to buy into one of their personal training sessions, which is another $40 per session. And while this might be helpful for some, if I'm gonna pay for a personal trainer, I prefer a hands-on experience. Another con, in my opinion, is that when you do buy the mirror, you're essentially buying into the mirror ecosystem. Sure, they have thousands of workouts and they have enlisted some really reputable fitness instructors to coach on their platform. But if you find that the workout classes are just not doing it for you, well, there's no way to switch it up and stream ClassPass or another video service, at least not for now. But who knows, that could potentially change now that Lululemon has acquired the company. But for me, honestly, this just seemed really limiting. And so I could probably see myself using it less and less over time. So after using it, yes, I found it very different and very unique. But did I find that the mirror would help encourage me to work out from home every single day? Maybe only out of guilt from the huge price tag. But if I'm being frank, I think the novelty of the mirror would quickly fade and then I'd be stuck with a $1,500 device that collects more dust than sweat. I mean, I get it, we're in this weird stage right now where it seems like it could be months before gyms go back to normal. So I can totally understand why people are eager to jump on the mirror bandwagon and really optimize their at-home fitness routine. But the way I see it is that the mirror is really the Tesla of fitness equipment. It's shiny, it's sexy, but if your main goal is to get from point A to point B, well, guess what? Your 2004 Honda Civic can get the same job done for a fraction of the price. And so that's why I've created the Honda Civic of workouts in my own living room using a $40 Ikea mirror I need $15 a month class pass membership. And even that's a splurge considering how many free fitness workouts you can find on YouTube. But what this gives me is the freedom to stream hundreds of workout videos from multiple platforms. And I've even set up my own monitor and speakers right in front of the mirror to basically achieve the same result. And if you really wanna quantify your workout, well then just grab a fitness device or a heart rate chest strap like the Polder H10 for 90 bucks. And guess what? You've still saved $1,700 over the course of a year. For me, working out at home, yes, it requires some dedication and motivation, but it's really more about creating this sustainable habit. And so my biggest piece of advice to you is to find a fitness class or an instructor, something that really motivates you to want to work out at home. Because at the end of the day, it's not about the device and it's never been about the device. So that's my first take on the mirror. Again, this is not a full review, but I was really excited to get this information out there, especially as people are doing more at home workouts and looking at different options on the market right now for how to optimize things. So if you learned something or if you like this video, please make sure to give it your big thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure to click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you get notified each week when I drop a new video. And until then, I will catch you on the next one.